Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing the dollar store makeup challenge. So I did haul everything that I'm using in this challenge. So if you'd like to see that, I will link it up here or down there or wherever. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So here I have my lovely bag of things from the dollar store. I'm gonna go ahead and just open everything up and that way it'll make it easy and we'll just see what we can come up with. Alrighty, so I don't have a primer, so I'm gonna just start off with the foundation. This is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. I have no idea if this even matches me, so we're just gonna go with it. And I'm gonna start applying it with this Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. Look at that, it's just way too streaky. I'm just gonna use my finger. It's very uh, thin, kind of liquidy, not high coverage, and I did not find any concealer, so we will just go with this. This coverage is sort of like a tinted moisturizer or a CC cream, very light coverage. And I don't have a primer, so I'll put this on my eyelids. So far I've used three pumps, just because I'm like layering it up trying to get some coverage out of this. But at least the color isn't horrible. It would have been better if I could have found a concealer, but that day there was no concealers to be found. You know how it goes, hit or miss. Okay, I'm having a struggle here on my nose. I just feel like it's coming out really streaky. Okay, this is really bad. I don't even think I can wear this all day. This is just like gumming up on my nose. And I don't have any other makeup on, so I don't know what would be causing it to do that. All I have on my face is moisturizer, which I put on a little while ago. Okay, I'm going to have to cheat a little and just use like a sponge here for a second because I just can't get this to even go on my nose. It's like clinging. I'm really not trying to make this look bad. Like not working it's pretty much accentuating every horrible thing about my skin can you guys see that texture oh <laughs> yeah those are things i like to keep hidden for a reason <laughs> Alrighty. um yeah let's okay this is the compact it is very very thin i mean it's la colors but it is like very very thin is it even close um the class doesn't even work. Um, <laughs> this is the sponge. It's like the flimsiest little thing and I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be snotty because I've done all some shop Missé and e.l.f. and other things. I'm, I'm okay with cheaper makeup but this is just very, I guess you're really getting what you're paying for here on this one. Oh my gosh. Guys, this looks so horrible. My shop Messe makeup was much better. As far as powder and foundation go. Oh my gosh, it's so cakey. Wow. I don't know why I'm still putting this on because I think it's just making it worse. Wow, I could not get this foundation to blend. You can see it's like there's giant patches or it's completely uneven. I promise I know how to put foundation on. <laughs> yeah, this powder is like serious like cake face. Wow. All right, moving on. Oh my gosh, I have got to fix this. I don't even know what I'm gonna do right here. This is the worst thing I could possibly do is put this foundation over this powder. I'm going to love to regret this. Mm, yeah. Okay. I got to fix this spot. I just spent like 15 minutes trying to fix this and I just made it worse. I knew I shouldn't even try to put a little more on over the powder because it's so cakey. Oh my gosh, it wiped off. It's a huge mess. I actually had to go in with a little bit of other foundation because then no other foundation would stick. Oh my gosh, guys. 
That was the most insane experience I've ever had with a foundation. I've never had something act like that. That was just bizarre. I, I don't even have words. Okay, I'm not going to touch that again because it's just going to screw up my face even more. Alright, let's go back to applying blush. This blush is fine. It's a nice uh, light pink color. Definitely only work on fair skin tones. I did have darker ones, but they looked much better for deeper skin tones. Like the brushes. Going for positivity here. The blush is it's a little chalky. Um, it's kind of just sitting on top of the foundation, but since that is such a, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even know. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to take this big fluffy crease brush and I'm going to go into my creme brulee, which some of you said is your like holy grail, like everyday eyeshadow. So that is good. Use this to kind of put down a base. I just realized I don't think I have anything for my eyebrows. You know what? I was going to wear this look all day and kind of check in and see what it did. No, it's not happening. I just can't walk around with this kind of foundation on. I call me what you will, I'd rather have no makeup on than this crusty. <laughs> I don't even know. It's bad. Okay. So let's see. So I'm going to put a little bit of this bronzy color in the crease. We're just going to go shimmer because that's what I've got. That's not bad. Alrighty, so I'm going to use this little um, brush. I don't know what it's called now. I'm going to go into this gold and I'm going to do that on the outside and then I'm going to pop the pink in the inner corner. Um, the shadows swatch pretty good. But these are way more powdery than the ones I got from Shop Miss A. You can see how much they're kicking up. There's just dust everywhere. So I find that even though they are pigmented when they're swatched, they're having a really hard time applying to my eye. Like I feel like they're just like crumbling off. Um, and when I tap off, like everything comes off. So this is not really going that great. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I thought these would do better. The dark shade's doing the best so far. Alrighty. Well, let's try some eyeliner before we get into this too much. Alright. LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. I have good hopes for this because I really like the lip liner. There's so much janky going on right now. I just, I just can't today. I don't know. Goodness gracious. All right. So, Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara, very black. It's a nice regular wand. Alrighty, and let's see lipstick. So I have the Fuchsia with the Blue Pearl from Wet n Wild. And a gloss, LA Colors lip gloss in Paradise. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so let me give you a roundup of my opinions so far. Um, foundation, horrible. Don't ever know. Just, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Alright, powder. Uh, same thing. It, I mean, I'm all about using stuff that's good and cheap but this doesn't even if my cake face is anything to speak for itself I'll give you a close-up you're gonna be scared <laughs> all 
All right, brushes. These are all great. If I had better products to work with, I think they'd work even better. I have no complaints about these. So if you can find these, these are worth your money. Um, the creme brulee. I think this was good. It was a nice base. It was a perfect color for me, but I actually overpaid for this because I know um, one of my lovely subscribers said that they bought this for 79 cents at Walgreens and I paid a dollar. So make sure you're not overpaying for things and check your other um, drug stores and see if things are actually less than a dollar because I didn't do that and I ended up paying more than this was actually worth. So maybe find it at Walgreens. The LA Colors was just okay for me. I'm going to do a little experiment here. So this is me. Let me wipe this off real quick. Okay. So I'm going to just put my brush in this. See how much powder is getting everywhere. Like it's just super powdery. Okay. Now this is my LA Colors palette I got from shop. Wipe this off. Give it all the fair treatment. This is the one I got from Shop Miss A. There, it's like sticking to the brush. Um, it's not powdering up all over. So I don't know why these are a little bit different formulas. This one I really like. Going in my little stash over here. This one I don't know that I'll keep. It's just super powdery. It swatches well, but it just doesn't apply the same to the eye. It would be great for someone who's just starting out. If you just want to dabble in some eyeshadows, I would go ahead, but just be aware that you're going to get a lot of fallout on here. And like, when you're blending, it, it tends to go a little muddy and just kind of blends away. Because, I mean, honestly, can you see where I have brown and pink? It just, it kind of all looks the same. Um, the mascara was okay. This would be better for somebody who's just starting out as far as something really nice and natural. But if you're looking for a big boom lash, then I don't think this one would be for you. The eyeliner worked fine. It wasn't like this amazingly smooth and creamy, but, I mean, it was okay. I had to go a little thicker on the line than I wanted because it was kind of, because it was a little drier, it kind of pulled a little. So I had to go a little thicker with it. But I think, you know, for a buck, it would be a great choice if you're in a pinch or if you just don't have a lot of money or if you're younger and you just don't have the money to invest in something else. Not bad. Okay, the blush was a little bit chalky. It just kind of looks like it's sitting on my face. I have this weird like gash out of my foundation there. I don't know how that happened, but I know I can't touch it because it's just craziness won't sue with this. The color's okay. It's very light, so only for my very fair-skinned ladies. But again, if you're just starting out, it would be fine, but I think there's better things you can find for just a few dollars more, like Wet n' Wild. Amazing. So if you uh, find that at the drugstore, or at the Dollar Tree, then go for it. Um, the lip gloss and lipstick were actually probably my favorite. I think they went on really well. They look nice. They're not transfer proof or anything, but I think the color overall is good. It's not too sticky. So I actually really liked those. So for a dollar, I would, I would recommend the lipstick and the lip gloss. So overall, um, the LA Colors brand, I think is just a little hit and miss. There are some things that are okay and some things that are kind of blah. For a dollar, I mean, it's nice to, to find. I think if you can find some of the wet and wild stuff that goes there, I think you'll be really happy because it's a good brand and they're known for having nice stuff for the drugstore price. If you can find Milani stuff there. Anyway, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye. I have a massive flare up since I delivered, which is kind of normal when you've got, re you know, hormones and all that stuff changing. So I'm not wearing makeup today, just giving my face a little rest. So that's what's up with that. But we've been doing really good. Um, you know, she's about a week and a half old, so she's not like sleeping through the night yet or anything, which I won't expect her to be. But she is actually 